It's another big week of English Premier League action. Hello guys, I'm Drew for Z-Code System, and it's good to be back here to talk to you this week about some soccer action that, are, that is going to be coming up on January 12th, 13th, and 14th in England with the English Premier League. Now, we're going to talk about three big games going on this weekend, and let's get started by talking firstly about Liverpool taking on Brighton. Now, Liverpool will travel to Brighton having lost their last match out in the English Premier League, which was their first loss of the league season, and they fell to second place Manchester City. Now, Liverpool can, are still in first place, four points above their rivals Manchester City, but uh, it's going to get a little bit nervy now uh, coming into this next part of the season, it seems. Uh, Liverpool have not won an uh, English League title since 1990, so the team is really pushing hard to win their first in quite some time. So Liverpool taking on Brighton, and as we can see, Liverpool are still burning hot right now, just a little bit down. Brighton are average. Brighton just one win in their last six matches. Uh, their last three, though, did end in uh, a draw, a win, and a, another draw. They drew at the weekend to West Ham. Uh, looking at the recent history between these two teams, they've played three matches recently over the last season and a half. And uh, earlier this year on August 25th, Liverpool coming away with a 1-0 win. And that was secured thanks to um, a late game save by goalkeeper Alison Becker, who preserved that victory for Liverpool. Uh, but as you can see, Liverpool did dominate the fixtures last season, winning 5-1 and 4-0. And in those three games, Liverpool putting together a 10-1 scoreline. Uh, over those three games. Brighton, though, are a much better team than they were last year, so to see a large scoreline of maybe 5-1 away uh, doesn't seem necessarily like it's going to happen again in, in this fixture. But again, Liverpool coming in as the money line favourite for major sports books. And, you know, as a Liverpool fan, I, I can't see them losing this game to Brighton. I think it will be a little bit close, a little bit nervy, but Liverpool will come away in the end with another victory and uh, keep hold of first place uh, going into next weekend's action. So Liverpool to beat Brighton is my pick for this game. Now, let's scroll back up to the top of the Z-Code system VIP pick area. And we're gonna, just going to change days. And we're going to take a look at Sunday the 13th. And we're going to look at a big game going on in London at Wembley Stadium as Tottenham will host Manchester United uh, on Sunday afternoon. And this is a rejuvenated Manchester United team who have won five straight games in all competitions. We're just going to hit the drop down bar now and we're going to scroll until we can find the Manchester United versus Tottenham game. And we'll come up with that in just a second. There she is. And we'll bring that up. Uh, as I was saying, Manchester United undefeated in their last five matches, all ending in wins, and that's five matches in all competitions, four coming in the Premier League, four wins, and one last weekend in the FA Cup. They defeated Reading. Now, there's a bit of a caveat to that. Manchester United did change managers uh, a few weeks ago, bringing in Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, uh, Solskjaer excuse me, for Jose Mourinho. Solskjaer, a uh, club legend uh, there, and he's really reeled off some some excellent uh, wins, as well as putting um, their star players who were formerly misfiring, getting them into form. Now, the problem, though, is Manchester United have not played the greatest quality of opponents in those matches, and uh, if you look at the English Premier League table, those four wins came against teams who are currently in 12th place or lower in the English Premier League table. So a bit of a caveat with how well they have been doing, but of course, we're looking at four straight wins and they are burning hot right now. Tottenham as well, burning hot. Um, they have uh, gone undefeated in five of their last six games and they won last time out against Cardiff 3-0. Now, I think Tottenham are going to give Manchester United a, a much more difficult game than the Red Devils have been used to in recent weeks uh, since Solskjaer took over. And let's just take a quick look at the head-to-head -head in recent weeks or uh, in recent years. And as you can see, Tottenham have won the last two fixtures between these two teams, outscoring Manchester United 5-0. to, to zero. Uh, And that included a win last year at, um, at home. Um, even more, Tottenham with four wins in their last six meetings against Manchester United and uh, playing very well historically against the Red Devils. Now, I know that Solskjaer has the Red Devils firing right now and, and has the Stars playing well, but this is a Tottenham team that sits third in the English Premier League, 
They are 10 points better off than Manchester United right now. And they are just six points back of Liverpool uh, for the lead in the Premier League. And I think Tottenham are going to win this game. I think they are better. Uh, they have better quality uh, players right now. And I think that Manchester United are going to have a bit of a, a rude awakening. They've been great lately, but they haven't played the high um, high quality opponents such as Tottenham. And for me, Tottenham are going to come away with a narrow win in this game. So uh, Tottenham to take this at home. Now let's look at one last game this week, and we're going to look at another team in the top three as we look at Monday night's game, Monday night the 14th. We'll have some Monday night football, and this is going to see Manchester City hosting Wolverhampton Wanderers, and we can find that right there in the drop-down menu. Now, Wolverhampton Wanderers Manchester City met earlier this season in Wolverhampton with that game ending 1-1, a fantastic result for Wolverhampton. And um, City have uh, lost a few games in recent weeks, which is what enabled Liverpool to overtake them in the table. Uh, two losses in their last six games, but they have recovered with two straight wins. They are burning hot, playing some fantastic football at the moment. Over the weekend, they played in the FA Cup against Rotherham and defeated Rotherham 7-0. So this is a team who is scoring goals for fun right now. Wolverhampton, though, let's give them a lot of credit. They have played very well this season. They currently sit in mid-table. They've come up earning promotion from the championship last season, and they've played the top-tier teams in the Premier League very, very well. Uh, they have taken wins from Tottenham and Chelsea this season as well as taking points off of Manchester United and Manchester City. So this is going to be a very close game, uh, but I think Manchester City will be coming away as victors in this. They are just playing too well right now, uh, and having that home support behind them on Monday night is going to see them get across the line, and perhaps, depending on the way results go, which I don't think it, it will happen this weekend, but they could keep Liverpool within their sights and even possibly uh, pull within one point of um, first place in the Premier League. Now, guys, if you want to get all of the great picks this week from Z Code System, if you want to use the automated system to get all kinds of great knowledge and to get uh, everything that you need to make your bets and, and to help you with your betting, you can get that from Z Code System in the VIP club. And of course, you can go to the Z Code System website, check out the blog, and check out all the great picks, whether it's NBA, NFL, the playoffs again continuing this weekend, the English Premier League, or uh, as spring comes upon us, uh, the baseball season, Major League Baseball. You can get all the great picks that you can uh, that you can use to make educated betting choices and to uh, hopefully earn more profits. So, guys, we hope you have a great weekend of betting on the English Premier League, and we hope to see you next week here at Z Code System.